What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Eternal Evolution. And today we already did our summons. We saw the hype part of the Easter event where we got Daniel. We've actually got him to Immortal already. And uh, yeah, we've got him fully, fully kitted out. But when it comes to talents, we got his talents all the way to the top. Actually, we might as well just jump on that character right here. We have Daniel to Immortal. Uh, got his exclusive up to 20. But the talent system we were able to completely finish. However, we do not have any EX on him yet. We don't have past immortal one and honestly we don't have it on many like sss heroes but what we do have it on is someone like artist now you can see here this is going to get a little pricey in a way because well they're not huge buffs i'm happy these percentages were lower than i was originally anticipating so essentially once you get a hero to immortal one you unlock this first tier ex1 uh, dance of the dead one and preservance one so essentially what this does is in pvp only increases the damage dealt to enemies by five percent that's not too bad so you get that there but you have that three times so in total that is 15 percent additional damage that does add up after a while here because when we're talking about these you also have to worry about the very last one when you get someone to immortal five the effects of all these talents are doubled uh so essentially these three pvp talents uh if you have them all the way activated up it actually turns out to be an additional 30% damage dealt to enemies and 30% less damage received, or yeah, less damage received from enemies. Uh, that's a pretty significant boost considering currently what happens is if your hero's immortal zero and then you go up to immortal five, you essentially are gaining like, I think what, 10% base stats essentially, which isn't like a huge boost. It definitely is a boost, but in PVP, these are going to become required, which I don't, as long as they're PVP, I don't mind, but there are two on here, the Curtain Call and Resolute Herald that are interesting. Now, of course you can put these on normal heroes too, because as you can see, these are just normal elite heroes. They're not SSS. They can get them as well. So it's not like you're gated behind only SSS heroes can get this, but when there are only 30 seconds remaining in the battle, damage dealt to enemies is increased by 5%. For the first 30 seconds of battle, damage received from enemies is reduced by 5%. So that's not absolutely huge in my opinion, because even when it is doubled, yes, this is valid in every game modes, but uh, 10% isn't a ton, and I'm happy, I'm so happy that this was not like a 30% that then was multiplied by like 60%, and it does look like in order to unlock Supreme Praise, you do need to unlock both branches here, so I'm not completely mad at this system. This is kind of whale wars at this point, because honestly, let's be honest, I spend a decent amount here, you guys can see the summons that we have and everything, I wouldn't call us like a big whale or anything like that. But when it does come to PvP, uh, we do stay in the top rank, but I have, like, no chance of beating the top two players. They just have, like, such a powerful team that I cannot compete against it, even with what I do. Uh, and I think that's kind of average for, like, what a lot of players do here. Uh, but what that does mean is on certain heroes, like, you know, if you have your Serena built up well, well, you might want to go down the route of taking less damage. Because you don't really care about the damage you're doing, but if you have the soul potions available, you might wanna just take the time and activate all these things to make sure you have a stronger healer in the battle. But you'll notice here, you can't go down to Supreme Praise. Um, I think if you only have one of these branches, granted, we still need to get her fully leveled up. I don't know if we can actually do that. I don't think we have the extra copies of her right now. Uh, that would be awesome. We have one. So we actually need one more copy of her. That would be so simple to check out. If that is, in fact, the case, we'll try it out. I guess what we could do is we could just upgrade artist talent, and then I could always regress them later to see if you can only go down, like, one branch. Let's give it a try. I'm going to show you guys now. Uh, so these prices are 120 for the small nodes, 240 for the big ones. No, you have to unlock both sides of this tree in order to get down to Supreme Praise. So that does mean you're spending what? 120, 120, 120. So that's 360 times 2. So that's 6, 720 plus 240. Oh, my God. I need a calculator. <laughs> 720 plus 240 plus 240 plus 240 so all these skills are essentially another 1440 soul potions to finish this out here 
just remember you can always reset stuff too if you ever make mistakes or you do what i did and you're like oh wait i can't actually get to this one well that sucks but again it is a damage reduction that you can receive on your heroes even i mean i use artists as a meat shield on a lot of my teams which is why i build them like super tanky and everything uh but the fact that you can do it on regular heroes makes me not as mad and it's not as big of a boost now if we're talking about like getting nord's talents built up it might be worthwhile on specific heroes like nord leo things like that that are really really strong in pvp game modes you're probably gonna want to get them now to immortal five if you can afford to do that however getting it like a nord maxed out that's a lot because you got to remember to go from Immortal 0 to Immortal 5 is legitimately 10 copies. That's more copies than it took you to get him just to Immortal. So it might be a slow progress. Maybe prioritizing getting to EX2 is probably one of the better things that you can do. I still don't think for an average player you need to really worry about going for Immortal 5 especially on a free-to-play account free-to-play you should be focusing on pve content pvp in all these games are always whale fodder like it's just it's whale wars that's what pvp is in these games and if you're not doing that you can kind of compete but not really this does push it a little bit further out of grass but uh i mean heck if you're free to play and you got a lot of non sss heroes that have tons of immortal levels that's actually a buff to you as well because now you might be able to compete to the people like me who have sss heroes that i use in my lineups but i don't necessarily have higher than immortal zero to throw them in pvp so it's kind of like a trade-off so i want to know your guys opinions on this i'm very very happy though that it's not like a huge huge boost of course getting to to ex5 down here at immortal 5 is a big deal because it doubles all these but the fact that these two can kind of help you out in pve as well because again these don't specifically say pvp like these you say in pvp this just says first 30 seconds of battle last 30 seconds of battle so i'm intrigued to hear your opinions because i feel like I feel like this is not as bad as we originally thought it would be. And that does make me happy. <laughs> that does make me happy about this. So definitely leave a comment down below. I want to hear a dialogue from you guys because I've actually started talking to the community management team in Eternal Evolution. So the more information we can pass along to them and feedback, the better. Is this system great? Is it horrible? No, it is not horrible. So again... Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Leave a comment down below with what you think. And also take one second, guys, hit that subscribe button. We are up to 17,000 uh, or actually over 17,000 subscribers here on this channel. We're going to pretty much be just doing Eternal Evolution. So if you're playing Eternal Evolution, there's no reason to not hit that button. I'm actually going to check real quick. We only have 17% of you guys subscribed. Literally 80 to 82% essentially of the viewers here are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you go down in the description. We actually have a $100 gift card giveaway down there for subscribers when we hit 20,000 subscribers. So I want to see it. Hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.